Okay, we're gonna do a quick video just to unbox the gateway or show you what the unboxing of the gateway looks like. Um, here we've got the gateway in its, in its uh, like factory packaging. You'll see on the front of the box, you've got all the details, the part number, um, description, etc. And then if we open it up, the first thing you get inside your box is your quick start guide. So the quick start guide opens up and has a whole lot of details, um, you know, to explain how to set up, connect to, and do a number of other things with your gateway. The next thing you've got in the box are, are the two antenna, right? And I'm gonna show you a bit more about those in a second. And you've got the gateway itself, all right? So very nicely wrapped in a lot of foam to protect it. Um, we can look at the ports on the gateway in a second and, and just make sure everyone's clear on that. Next thing in the box are the, the connectors. So you've got the, the pinout connector, uh, for your Modbus, your CAN, and, and other connections on the on the unit. And you've got one of the Zanbus terminating resistors there as well. Um, then you've got Cat5 cable, and you've got your, your power connector for the wall, um, and a little DIN rail to mount the, the gateway onto the wall, and a whole lot of different um, adapters for, for different electrical connections around the world for the power adapter. I'm not going to spend too much time on that in this video, but uh, it's just good to know it's all there in case you need it. So if we take a, a, a slightly closer look at the gateway, um, let's start here. The first thing that you may want to note is that you can install the gateway in two ways. The one is it comes with the mounting bracket for DIN rail um, fixed to the back of the gateway by default. Right, so you can clip it onto the DIN rail and you get a very flush, um, flat mount uh, or profile of the gateway fixed to the wall. The second is on the left hand side, so left if you're looking from the front, you've got the option to mount the mounting bracket onto the left hand face of the gateway. And this gives you a much more like upright um, or, or just a much flatter profile in terms of like your, your horizontal uh, space usage on the gateway if you want to install it in, in a narrower space. If we go around the top, something that's very important is you'll notice that you've got your two connectors on the top for the antenna. It's very important to make sure that customers install the antenna whenever they install a gateway um, you know, for the first time. They should install the antenna before they power it up. The reason being that the antenna actually protects the wireless circuitry on the inside. And without it, over time, that circuitry will get damaged and your, your gateway's wireless capabilities will, will be damaged as well. Um, this is also, or also applies if your gateway is being installed inside an enclosure. If we go to the right hand side of the unit, you'll see you've got your, your status indicating LEDs down the front of the unit. Um, these status indicating LEDs give you whether it's powered up or not, um, whether it's using its file transfer capability, uh, communicating over Modbus, Zanbus, uh, Ethernet, whether there's a fault or warning in play and whether the Wi-Fi is being used. Then you've got your, um, there's a sticker up here that says do not remove and it's important that that does not get removed. So with the com box, you could remove that SD card and it was basically just file storage and you could put a new one in. With the gateway, it's important to note that it's your operating system. So if you remove it, all the configuration settings um, and other settings of the gateway come out with, with, that, um, with that SD card. You've got a USB port below that. USB is, is for firmware updates and also to get your IP address of the gateway a reset uh, a pinhole push button. So you can reset the gateway, um, do a, a hard reset on the gateway there. You've got a wireless button there to, to configure and work with the wireless connectivity. A custom user um, uh, button. So that will allow users to, to set up a, a feature in the future where um, they can define what that button will do or pressing that button will do. Um, but it's not in place or it doesn't do anything at the moment, but uh, that'll be coming. And then a power button uh, to turn the unit on and off. Along the bottom of the unit, you've got your connector. Um, so with, with on the back, you've got a very nice little diagram showing you what each of those connection points does or is there for. Um, that connector is for all your Modbus ports, um, your CAN port for lithium-ion batteries in the future, um, your digital inputs and outputs, and a couple other things as well. Next to that, you've got your Ethernet port. Ethernet, of course, being to, to connect your gateway to the internet. And then next to that, you've got your two Zanbus um, uh, ports, um, one 
next to the other. So the, the two connectors on the, on the left are ZAN bus 1, two connectors on the right are, are ZAN bus 2. And finally, you've got your, your power connection point at the end there. Okay, um, that's all for the unboxing video. 